Hey everybody, JCB here at The Awesomest, and you're watching the second episode of The Awesomest Plays. So today I'm going to be playing Pokemon Uranium, and uh, this is a fan-made game. It has nothing to do with Nintendo. Um, it was made completely by fans. It took them nine years to make, which is almost as long as it took to make Boyhood. This is a classic style Pokemon game, but done with more of like a 16-bit graphic look. It's kind of like um, the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, almost. Um, and I haven't played it yet. I'm just going to actually get ready to start it right now. Okay. So, it's downloading. And it's at 1%. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Alright, it's almost done. <laughs> I think there's all new Pokemon, it's a new setting, of course you're a new character. Um, I don't know exactly if there's any of the old Pokemon in it. It says there's 150 brand new Pokemon that are based on like a nuclear Pokemon situation. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess we're waiting for the intro here. Okay, there's our first piece of actual Pokemon trademarked content. Who's this hipster? Pokemon Professor. You can call me generic character name, man. Who am I? Ta-da! Blue, am I green, or am I red? Question is, is this going to determine what Pokemon I get from this guy? I go with red. Yes. Ass hat. Her name is Dipshit? I have very mean parents. Dipshit, are you ready? Okay. It's jam though. Oh no, Fukushima. This is the same beginning as that new Godzilla movie. Okay. Well, I got a big ass head. So I gotta say, the graphics and everything look pretty good. Uh, the music's neat. I like the fact that there's so many new assets that are original. Um, that's actually really nice. I don't know how Nintendo will actually react to this. Well, I know exactly how they'll react to it. They'll ban the shit out of it. But they probably shouldn't. I mean, the only thing so far that it has going for it that is uh, trademarked is the name Pokemon. And uh, some of the music, obviously, is going to be copyrighted. Dipshit, sweetie. Theo. <laughs> you and that boy, Theo, you see? Do-ho-ho. -ho. Is he being a dirty old man? Oh, dipshit. You're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help you on your journey. I'd like a Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong against bugs. Everything's strong against bugs. My favorite Pokemon is Chubbug. It's so cute. Hello, dipshit. Today is your, the day you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Looks like Theo only has a Wii, not a Wii U. No wonder he always wanted to come over to play yours. <laughs> Nobody wants to play Wii U. So running is nice. I wish the original games had, had running. So I uh, broke out my uh, SNES USB controller hoping that it would work with this game, but it doesn't do anything. It's a shame. Add controller support. It'd be much more, uh, much more enjoyable that way. Don't sparse. So our first mention of an original Pokemon, Mankey. I don't know 
else will actually be in this game, but... Okay. Hey, wait up. Ah. I thought he was ahead of me. Um, that's kind of weird because in the original Pokemon games in red and blue, um, our, your rival always chose second. So, like, if you pick Charizard, he'd pick Squirtle. If you pick Squirtle, he'd pick Bulbasaur. If you pick Bulbasaur, he'd pick Charizard. So he always picked second, so he would always have the stronger Pokemon. The only time your rival chose uh, first was actually my favorite Pokemon game, which is Pokemon Yellow, and that's because he takes the last Pokeball, it's an Eevee, and then uh, Professor Oak ends up giving you a wild Pikachu, um, and then he follows you around throughout the game. So, kind of weird that he would think you the first one, you got the strongest one, but okay. Copyrighted music, oh yeah. Gonna get this video flagged on YouTube from content ID. Hey, if it isn't dipshit and uh, your friend Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right. Theo! You're just in time. This is the first day at work as field research assistants. Are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? I guess it's blocked out slightly. Yes. Well, you gotta. This is kind of dumb because they probably want you to say throw a Pokeball at it so you can capture it and then you learn more about it. But you can't really capture most of them until you attack it first. So it's like a personality test and that decides your, your starter? Please don't give me that Rattata looking thing. Dipshit. I'm gonna get the middle one. Raptorch! Can't say I'm disappointed. Just gonna get the water based one. Which is gonna be the one on the right hand side, no doubt. Theo! Oh, <laughs> he's got a plant type, it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna burn him up. Dipshit, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle, have to, have to battle, have to. Oh shit! That's kinda cool. It's funny because I was just playing Pokemon Yellow uh, recently. I was playing Pokemon Go and I started thinking about my favorite game, which is Pokemon Yellow. I started playing that recently. And uh, I remember thinking while I was playing, I wish the graphics were better. Like, I enjoyed the nostalgia factor of the old Game Boy graphics, but um, I wish they could do like an update so you could see uh, what those old games look like with new graphics. And this is actually pretty cool to see. Torch do fight bag Pokemon. Right. Fight, bitch! Scratch, growl, ember. Ember! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to win. Theo, you, know, you can't cry every time you lose a battle, you see. Now, Theo! I'll always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down, you see. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? I nearly forgot, dipshit. Theo, I have something for the both of you. So my dad give a present for this kid. Dot, dot, dot. I do like that there's actual models of the Pokemon in the over, um, world thing, because in the original Pokemon it was always just like a generic rock um, icon, or water or whatever, so all the Pidgeys and, and Articudo and everybody looked the same, and then all the Geodudes and everything just looked like a fucking rhinoceros, and yeah. Okay, so, uh, we are beginning our journey. 
And I guess I should probably end uh, this first episode here, I guess. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do another episode right now, but I'm going to post it later, so it seems like it's later. I plan on doing the whole thing if I can. I don't know if Nintendo is going to, you know, smack the hammer down and it's going to end up being taken offline, and I don't know if I'll still be able to play it if that happens or not. I'm going to leave a download link down below where you can download this game if you want to try it. Uh, just let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep being awesome. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon master in the whole world! Son of a bitch!